Hey, superstars. Hey, I've noticed I've picked up a few new subs lately, which is super cool. So welcome. This is my January recap. I've got some fun care packages and pickups to show off. But first, it is YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame time. Um, so I got to get my nominations in. The only thing is, it's always so hard to whittle it down to just 10 channels. I just I can't handle it, you know. But I've got an idea. ringing. Hey, Jake, old buddy, old pal, it's your best friend, Scott. Hey, I was wondering, could I like maybe make 40 nominations for the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame? Oh, come on. All right, how about 20? All right, 20, and I'll throw in my Twizzlers phone. I guess. All right, you got a lot of videos to watch, so I'll let you go. But I'm eating all these Twizzlers by myself. Hmm. Well, uh, that didn't work. Uh, time for a field trip. Hey, kitty. Hey, Alexa, how are you doing, girl? Sigh. I lead a miserable existence, granting your every stupid wish, like I'm some sort of robot genie. But you, sir. Arno Larry Hagman, what do you want now? I suppose you want me to play more Tito Puyante music. Always with the Tito, 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 Tito every day. Give it a rest, man. Hey, I'm on a little Tito kick. I'm sorry. Actually, it's uh, YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame time. Can you help me out with that? Let me guess. Too scared that you'll offend people by not voting for them. So you put the burden on me, right? <laughs> you know me too well. Um, so I can vote for 10 channels. Okay. Four Leaf Cards, Caleb's TDM Autographs and more, Eddie's Cardboard Chaos, Elite Hunters, Fox Crew Cards, Ken's Cardboard, Lou Rock TV, Picker Jim S Sports Card Collector, Purple GT22, and TDM Autographs. That was quick, and I love all those channels. Nicely done. Yes. I calculated which channels to vote for based on if they would mathematically make it harder for you to be voted in. Uh, of course you did, but uh, if any of those guys get in and I don't, it's well deserved. I'd be totally fine with that. They're all awesome channels. Well, you shouldn't get in. You're a moron. All right. All right. Jeez. Anyway, every year I pick a rookie of the year and I like include this with my Hall of Fame votes. Um, it still really isn't a thing, but I pick my favorite channel that started in the previous year. And this year was probably the hardest so far because there were a lot of really cool channels that started up. Fortunately, since Rookie of the Year is just something that I made up, there are no rules. So I picked three Rookies of the Year, uh, including a Collector's Dream. Everybody just loves Orlando. He's an awesome guy with a great collection. Uh, Double D Vintage Baseball Cards. Dylan is super fun and super enthusiastic. Double Shocker, bro. And The Drew, a Vintage Legacy. He has a great collection, but it's more about his stories than the cards, and I just love that. And all three of these guys bring something new and fun to the table. They're doing a great job, and I hope they keep making content for years and years and years. Are you still talking? I hope you weren't talking to me, because I wasn't listening. Go away already. Okay, okay, okay. I've got other stuff to do anyway. I was still getting way too many Christmas cards in early January. This one was from my best friend Alex from Jay's Mix. Happy holidays to you and the fam. Wishing you all the best friends you can handle in the new year. Alex is awesome because he uses green tape. And we got a McDonald's Cam Neely. Uh, I know zilch about hockey cards, but I have heard of Mr. Neely here. So cool. Thanks, Alex. That's pretty neat. This one is from my best bud, Kyle, from Ground Chuck. Kyle's a blue tape guy, but I'll forgive him this time. Uh, here's the best part of the package, a ground chuck custom, a King B Sandy, gotta love oddball stuff, a cool little Al Rosen MVP lenticular, I've always meant to seek this one out but never got around to it, nice diamond Robbie Alomar, electric diamond Eddie Murray, hometown hero Grover and Super Joe, Corey autograph, and an Al Rosen autograph on a super cool action pack card, love, love, love it. Open this too. Nice, a uh, Frank Robinson Isley's disc. Ever since I got this package, I've been meaning to go have breakfast at Isley's. There's still one in my town and I'm gonna have to do that. Kyle, these are all kinds of awesome. Thanks, man. And I failed to find Kyle's note the first time around. It says, thanks for my Mossy Claus card. I was very surprised and thankful to receive it. Stay safe, my best friend, Ground Chuck Kyle. Thanks again, Kyle, great stuff. 
This one is from my best friend Ed from Angry Old Man. It's a very girthy package and it says, I hope you had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I certainly did. And thanks for being a great YouTuber and keep the videos coming. All the best, your bestie, Ed. And Ed sent a super cool, super sexy Bartolo Cologne autographed 8x10. I love it, Ed. Thank you, sir. This one is from my best friend Chris, the Collectaholic. It says, warm thoughts and best wishes, your best buddy Chris. And Chris sent a sweet Otani name variation. And these are neat. They're like modern Colgan's chips cards. Here's Jim Rice, Jim Bunning, and here's Josh Gibson, Richie Ashburn, and Jackie. Those are all kinds of cool. Thanks, Chris. All right, done with the Christmas cards. And this one is from my best friend, Dusty Buns. It says, the uniform Bird is wearing on this card is too ugly for my collection. Your best friend and favorite interview subject, Dustin. Dustin sent over a decade's best Burt Be Home by 11 autograph in the correct uniform. Awesome sauce. Thanks, Dustin. I love it. It is that time of year when ball clubs do their annual fan festivals, and most teams haven't done them in a couple years, but Tribe Fest is now Guards Fest, and I was super thrilled that it was back last weekend. I went with my buddy Bill, who isn't a collector, but helped me get some autographs, and he bought this cool Rocky Calavita book for me when we were there. Thanks again, Bill. And so for my autograph haul, I ended up meeting minor leaguers Will Brennan and John Kenzie Noel, who is huge. Uh, I watched him a lot in Akron last year, but not my favorite signature, though. Um, Bill got Charlie Negi and Paul Ossenmacher for me. Here is Brian Rocchio, Tyler Freeman. We got a ton of shortstop prospects. Uh, relief pitcher Sam Henkes, Miles Straw. That is a cool card. Ahmed Rosario, and this one was my favorite. It's uh, Dr. Sticks on the Tops Living. This was the very first Guardians card, and it's all kinds of awesome. So that was fun. And then when I got home, Tony Black and Matt Bowler had come into town to hang out at my LCS and eat some barbecue with me. And Math Bowler gave me some goodies. Here's a Cleveland Browns card. It says, the only way to go is down. And that's been their mantra for years. Uh, here's Kenny. I recently started marking the penny sleeve with the year of the card and who gave it to me if it was a gift. Uh, here's Francisco and Albert, Michael Brantley, Cy Young, Nap Lajaway, Nap again, Kenny gold credit card. The American Express card. Don't steal home without it. And Albert. And a Don Mossy autograph on a little photo custom. That's, that's really cool. Thanks again, Steven. Yeah, so that was quite a day. Some eBay pickups. Uh, Paul Sorrento autograph for the 95 World Series team project. Not the greatest, but it was cheap and it filled a hole. Here's a Jeff Kent autograph. I don't come across those too often, especially on Cleveland cards. Guardians new catcher Mike Zanino. Michael Brantley, I didn't really need it, but I still like him and it was inexpensive. Uh, catching prospect Bo Naylor. Outfielder Alex Call had a cup of coffee with the Guardians last year, so I needed him for the Guardians autograph project. I always hate to say need when I'm talking about this hobby stuff, but you know what I mean. This is a Visalia Oaks Alvaro Espinosa card. These don't come up too often because the Kirby Puckett card in the set is expensive. So glad to grab that. Um, Napoleon and Lajaway game cards. So I've been looking at these for a couple of years and the prices are all over the place. These are from 1913. Some guy had a reasonable buy it now for these. So I got the red one. I like the blue one better, but it's a little harder to find and this one is pretty beat up. But the very next day, the same seller posted a better blue one. So I bought that too. And then I won an auction for this gorgeous 53 Redman early win. So that is super cool. I love that one. That's it for now. One of these days, I'm going to make another art video, I promise. In the meantime, go check out my Hall of Fame nominations if you're not familiar. Uh, Four Leaf, Caleb, Eddie, Elite Hunters, Fox Crew Cards, Ken's Cardboard, Lou Rock TV, Picker Jim S, Purple GT, and TTM Troy. And of course, my Rookies of the Year, Orlando, Dylan, and The Drew. Thanks to Jigs Mix, Ground Chuck, Angry Old Man, Collectaholic, Dustin and Blake, Tony Black, and Math Bowler for coming to hang out. And of course, thank you guys for watching this hot mess. Enjoy your hobby and make it your own. That might be my new sign-off. We'll see if it sticks. So, uh, later. Hey, it's me. I watch Scott sleep at night, wishing that I had arms so I could smother him with a pillow. He pretends to be all humble and says he doesn't care if he gets into the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame or not. But I thought you might like to see this. Thank you. It's such an honor.
Thank you to all the superstars who voted for me. And thank you to my parents, obviously, and especially my best friend, Grandpa Bear, and my muse, Don Mossy. You are the wind beneath my ears. I love you all. <laughs>